So I wanted to do a comparison video for different models that you can use for your figure drawings. So I'm going to tell you what I like about them and what I don't. So we got this guy. I have seen female versions of this where they kind of make the chest go out slightly different. Um, this of course, you can pick these up at Ikea for like 15 bucks. A lot of people just use them as weird little knickknacks, but... And um, they also come, you can see right there, they come with a stick shoved right up the... <laughs> right down Main Street! <laughs> and yeah, they just kind of... limp there. The thing is with this, what I don't like about this one in particular, it can't do some basic things that human bodies can do. So I'm not even talking like gymnastics or anything crazy like that, but it can't do like this. So just to show you there, it touches now. So what am I supposed to do there? Do I have to hold it in place? Because I'm kind of busy with other things. On top of that, like the legs only go back at a 90 degree angle and uh, there's not a lot of articulation and then it can do stuff that no human being can, like so. <laughs> right now someone's going to link me to a video or mention somebody, did you ever hear this obscure guy? He can totally do that. The average human being cannot. <laughs> so these guys, the best part about them, they're good for, I guess, your basics. They're also quite affordable, but I'm actually quite a frugal lady, so I'm going to show you this next one, this next one, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to show you this one. The best one part about this is she's big. She is a knockoff. I am now 100% certain, and I'm going to show you why. This is the box she came in, and she does have some fun... Uh, and uh, they screwed up my order to begin with. She does have some fun accessories. Uh, she's got a katana and a uh, assault rifle type of thing, as well as a knife and a handgun and several different hands. So you can switch these guys out to make different poses. And you'll see that. I find that her posture looks kind of slumped and uh, just, to get back to it, the reason I know this one is a knockoff, later on I'll be showing you this one, and you can see it's the same pictures on there. <laughs> and in here, there's a also different, on this one there's also uh, different joints The uh, in the legs. Her legs are more simplified than the other female form. Like I said, I do find her slightly hunched, and the small one kind of does that too, but I don't know. And for some reason they decided, thank goodness, they decided to give her nipples. I'm so glad. <laughs> okay, but now that we're finished ragging on it, it actually, I do have a, one last little gripe. She, I can't figure out how to get her into the stand properly. I can get her into the stand, but anyway. What I like though about this one, in comparison like to the wooden one, this is a better model, even if it is a knockoff. Um, she can do, she can swing her legs back a little bit more than a 35, or 45 degree angle, excuse me. 90 degree angle, shit. Anyway, 90 degree angle, and um, got some ball joints in here. You can kind of hear these are, I think they're called ratchet joints. She has a toe articulation, which I really like, and she's making some really goofy poses right now. And uh, yeah, she's, she's okay. The best part about her, once again, I think is her height. I do like that, and it looks like I can tear her leg off if I try. Hmm. Bootlegs are not as good of quality. Oh. And uh, for those of you wondering, the company that made her... <laughs> I'm going to show you it close up and then we can all laugh at my crap pronunciation. Okay. ha o kai toi That's going to be my <laughs> attempt. 
So I'm going to show you the real one of that. She's tinier. They do have bigger ones of this, I believe. This is a Bandai. I haven't figured out how to get this one into her stand yet either because she's got... A it's not so much actually getting her into the stand. It's figuring out how to uh, assemble the stand because they are a little bit stiff in the joints. Um, she can swing her legs way back. She can... Uh, She's got a more complex joint here at the leg. And I mostly got her because I have a small male figure I'm going to show you in a moment that she is more made to match up with. She has that toe articulation again. And although her fists, she's got little balled up fists here, she uh, also comes with several pairs of hands. And to change them out, you just kind of give a good pull and I'm just, just make sure that they look the same because I don't want to destroy figurines yeah you can just pull it out like that maybe I should just and, and then you can grab whatever you want pop something back in away you go and the hands also have a this kind of articulation at the wrist and I really like this little figurine. I also like this one. I find her shoulders move a bit better than the other one. I'll try and show you that. And yeah, she's a... Uh, I like this one. Unfortunately, she does not have nipples. Huzzah! I like how he looks really put upon. <laughs> <sighs> that last figure should have been anatomically correct with nipples. He's a deluxe figure, and he comes with all sorts of really fun figure-like pieces. So he's got all these hands. The other little one, also, she comes with extra hands as well as, just to clarify, a handgun and a katana, uh, a flip film, uh a smartphone as well as a laptop and I think she has a tablet too and a pencil and uh, not only does this guy this guy comes with hands but he also comes with extra arms so I will pull oh no now he's really put him on so you can make him do things like cross his arms this is gonna look a little awkward because I'm kind of half-assing it his arms look very long. I think it I think it's supposed to be pulled up there. Yeah. And right now I'm just putting back in the pieces. This guy actually is there you go. Just snaps back in like that. And you can make they also have extra legs, which is kind of confusing, but that's so you can do the maneuver like uh whenever you're sitting on your uh feet. So I'm doing that really sharp bend, kind of like this, which might I add, the fact that he can do that even without the legs, this is a impressive bend. He also has lots of other accessories. He's got, this can be made into a table. He comes with a little shield. Uh, there's a lo uh, ice lolly or popsicle couple of cups including a mug and a teacup, a traditional Japanese teacup, and uh, there's a handle that came off of something, I have no idea what. But yeah, he's got a lot of nice, oh, 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 and a sword. So I do recommend, especially if you can get, I think they do have a female version of this, but I'm the other one might be it's a different one if you can get this one this is a bandai one i do recommend it if i find the name of it i will put it on the screen for you guys okay so i do recommend these little guys even the little female one i'm impressed with uh the other one is okay <laughs> and the wooden one is <laughs> i don't like them I'm doing a quick little follow-up to my figurines video. Um, there was another option for figurines, for drawing figurines, and um, 
the option was this stuff it was covered it was a human body it was had rubber type of to simulate the skin and all of that and uh, I could have made way more nipple jokes about that because a lot of them whereas the ones I was showing you were definitely more geared towards that anime aesthetic I I think the uh, rubber ones are more geared towards an American comic book aesthetic, so they have big eyes and things like that. You could even buy replaceable heads that were like of actors and things like that. Uh, and not only that, I, I like I said, I made lots of nipple jokes in my original video these things had not only that but they were anatomically correct including one of them had a removable penis so you could like be like oh well I want him to look aroused yep um although I'm making kind of doubtful faces such I, I don't do erotic art, not like that, so to each their own. And one last little heads up, all of the Bandai figures, the two Bandai figures, excuse me, that I showed, as well as the knockoff, came to about $30 on eBay. However, the knockoff figure I bought, they advertised to me as a Bandai figure, so make sure you know what you're getting. Okay, take care.